Ear infections are rife in young Indigenous children in the Northern Territory. They often lead to hearing loss and learning problems. Now researchers are looking at two new vaccines that combat a wider range of the bacteria that causes the disease. Darwin resident Anna Kitchen has suffered hearing loss since she was a child. You feel it's almost like you're an alien among the other children because you don't hear anything. Despite having surgery as a teenager, she still has holes in her eardrums. If I need to have a shower to protect my ears, I'd have to use a shower cap. I cannot go swimming because if the water does get into my ears, a great deal of it, I will be deaf for life. Researchers say 80% of very young Indigenous children in the Territory have some degree of hearing loss. That's despite the introduction of a vaccine nine years ago, targeting pneumococcal bacteria that cause ear infections. But researchers say it doesn't protect against all the bacteria responsible for ear disease. The overall effect has been that there's absolutely no change in ear disease in young Aboriginal children. But two new vaccines that protect against a greater range of bacteria are being introduced. Researchers will trial them in more than 300 babies, hoping the combination will be more effective. All right. An Aboriginal health worker says vaccinations are important, but are just one part of the fight. It's not going to be immunisations alone. It's not going to be teachers learning alone. It's not going to be Aboriginal health workers being trained up alone. It's not going to be education to the parents alone. It's actually a matter of all of those things coming together as one. The results of the study will be known in four years. Alison Middleton, ABC News, Darwin.